Hey everyone, Josh here from Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to be going over score, cut, and engraves. Um, a lot of people have been asking questions on what's the difference between a score and a cut on a laser engraver, and same thing with the engraves. So I'm going to go over this kind of quickly. Um, there may be more to add, and we can always get more in depth if we have to, but just going to cover over the basics really quick here. So basically with the cut, um, it's just going to be a line. So I'm going to just draw out like a rectangle here. And as you can see right now, the line is set at 0.25. I always like to bump that up to 1 so I can see the outline a little bit better. Because um, with the Glowforge, uh, it really doesn't matter how thick you make this line. It's always going to be an actual cut or score line no matter what size you make it. So I always just set it on 1. That way it looks more like a cut instead of an engrave. So um, what we're going to do is just so we have consistency, I'm going to copy and paste this uh, rectangle a few times so I can go over the difference between each thing. So now that we have three of these, um, the first one we're going to make a cut. It's already set perfectly for a cut. I always mark all of my cuts as red. You can mark it literally any color you want. So if you like your cuts like orange or blue, any any color will work. Um, but I always set my cuts on red. That way I know that's what's cutting and that's consistent throughout all my files. Um, now if you want two separate operations, you can always use two different colors for cuts as well. Same goes with score. So for example, if we wanted to score this rectangle, I can set it as like a light blue. I always set my scores as light blue. And what that is, is the cut will actually cut this square out and then the score will just do a cut line but it actually just lightly engraves on top of the uh, wood itself. So it doesn't actually cut all the way through. It's just considered a score. So it's just a quicker way to make um, a line versus an actual engraved line. So that'll save you a lot of time um, and I'll get a little bit more in depth later on in this video what I mean um, by that. Uh, I'm just showing you the basics right now. And then for this rectangle um, this is your stroke. So this is the outside line which is red right now. Um, we're gonna turn this to none and then this one right here is gonna be your fill so this is the inside. This is what would get graved or engraved. Um, all fills will get engraved on your design. So this would just engrave a solid black uh, rectangle at this point. So if we put this all together and I put the engrave inside the cut um, and then just for example I'm going to shrink this down because you wouldn't have a score in there. Um, I'll just put it right there and let me bump that up to the top here just so you can see what's going on um, and I'm gonna put the cut up a little bit too so uh, now that you can see what's going on here if you would have all of this in your design all at once it would um, engrave that whole black area and then you could set the score on this um, smaller rectangle to score this side uh, this spot out and then the cut itself would be cutting out all of the inside that was just scored and engraved. Um, so let's go, let's elaborate on that a little bit. Um, so you've seen this layered Christmas box that I made if you watched one of the previous videos here. You see how the windows inside this house are all cut out here and that makes it a little fragile um, but I liked it like that so you can kind of see some of the snowflakes through through the window same with the door here um, but if you want to strengthen that up you could technically turn these into scores not cutting out the windows here so let's go into that a little bit um, let's take a look here I got it open right here so as you can see all my light blues are scores and then all of the reds are cuts here um, let me move this a little bit. It's not showing up correctly here. There we go. Um, so all of the reds are actual cut lines and all the blue, uh, light blues are score lines. I don't have any engraves at all on this one. Um, 
But let's say, for example, I wanted to engrave the word Merry Christmas instead of scoring it. Uh, the reason why I have it on score is just to save some time for the uh, actual cut and scores there. Um, so you can just, like we did before, change that into a fill. And now it's going to engrave that Merry Christmas on top. Now, like I was saying with the house here, um, if we zoom in on the house, you see how the red lines are, are cut lines, just like I said before. You can actually turn these into score lines. Um, and as you can see, the all my inside uh, design of the house is gripped together um, right now, so it's collecting the score lines and the cut lines. That's why it has a question mark, because it's, it's noticing there's two different colors. Um, so if I wanted that all to be one color, I could just select this and click light blue to change all the scores. But just in case you are wondering for different designs where you only want certain things, you can actually go up to object, click ungroup. And now, as you can see, I can select each one of these individual squares here. So if I wanted, just for example, you wouldn't do it on this one, but if you wanted it on a different one, let's say I want this window and this window to be scored but the opposite ones to be cut out that might give it kind of a cool effect um, and then you could even put like extra score lines in there like if you want to get real detailed you could zoom in grab your line tool and then maybe put like a few lines like this to make it look like glass in those windows that don't cut out there um, so you could go around, do that to each window, make it look like glass, and you could technically turn it into all scores like I'm going to do here. Um, so you can just turn them all into scores. You can actually highlight and gr group the area all at once and do it all at once versus slowly like I was there. That was just an example. Um, but you got to make sure you don't accidentally highlight the outsides there like I did there and we'll turn those all to score lines so now when this prints like this um, I'm gonna just remove this little glass thing here but if you wanted it to look like glass you would do that on every window but let me just delete that what this is gonna look like when it's all done it's gonna look just like this but the windows won't be cut out it's gonna be just these little um, score lines like you see the top of the roof here and the outside of this and all of the snowflakes that's all score lines so it doesn't actually cut the piece out like um, you see this cut out piece here and all the windows cut out those were actual cut lines originally but if we would turn them to score lines that would just leave just the lines there to make the appearance of the window and then if we would have left that um, this window here like this it would have scored each one of these lines just real quick to give it that shimmery effect of um, like a glass in the window if you didn't want it to be cut out. So I hope that explains it pretty well for you guys. Um, that's going to be your difference between the score and cut lines there. Um, and I hope that it helps explain it there. And I hope you guys have a great day.